border of Washington State and Oregon, Ben Tracy shows us how the fish are hitching a ride. This is not your average salmon spawning season on the Washougal River. It's interesting, to say the least. Thanks to this machine. <laughs> the whoosh, you know. <laughs> these salmon are in for the ride of their lives. Oh yeah, real fun to watch. <laughs> it does have an official name. It is the whoosh fish transport system. But you could also simply call it a pretty sweet piece of technology known as the salmon cannon. We started with goldfish and trout and tilapia, and we worked our way right up to salmon. It's a Todd Delegan is the vice president of Whoosh Innovations. It's the sound of an object traveling in the tube. The contraption took just 20 minutes to set up. It moved salmon from this holding pen through a pressurized tube, and with the help of a little water, five seconds later, they reach a truck 150 feet away. It's a different thing it's, it, to see fish just flying up a tube like that. Greg Haldi is with the Washington State Department of Fish and Wildlife. It bought this salmon cannon to help separate hatchery salmon from wild salmon in the river. Until now, workers used these bins and a forklift to do the job. A process that was tougher on them and the salmon. So we'd have to do that three, four times until the truck was filled, and then we'd have to do it all over again. The salmon cannon gets it done in half the time, with a lot less labor, and they say with no danger to the fish. All right, show us how you do this. So I've got a uh, hatchery buck here. Insert it, and the, the whoosh does its thing. Originally, this technology was designed to move apples from tree to truck in less time and without bruising them. And then one day the company wondered, could they make fish fly? When you realized this thing could move fish through the way it does, what was the reaction of your team? We, we laughed at first, and then we thought that this really has the potential for addressing some of the very serious issues that we face here in the Pacific Northwest. Drought in the West is dramatically drying up salmon runs. Man-made dams on rivers have kept some species from their spawning grounds for decades. Some dams are now being destroyed, but on other rivers, it could be the salmon cannon to the rescue. Instead of trucking the fish around the dam, they would just shoot them up and over the dam. Even easier than shooting fish out of a barrel. So if they made a human-sized one of these things, would you take a ride? Absolutely. <laughs> you <boost> yourself. <laughs> sure. In the meantime, it's the fish having all the fun. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy in Washington State. Extraordinary.